Like I said, I made a mistake. I heard you speak in French. Often in these big hotels, you, you run into women from foreign countries who may need a translator or guide. How many uh, languages do you speak? Five or six. Plus the uh, international language. That's right. Here's a movie that's a uh, very strong film that I really admire. I like it a lot more than Chapter Two. Yeah. Richard Gere plays a male prostitute in American Gigolo. Uh, he's a pampered Beverly Hills playboy. His clients include rich middle-aged women who pay $500 and up for his favors. And he can make his clients happy, but he's never happy himself. He suffers from that widespread Hollywood psychological ep epidemic, the inability to love and to be loved. But then what happens is that the wife of a senator becomes intrigued with gear. She wants to get personally involved with this guy who keeps everyone at arm's length. And one night, she tracks him down to his own apartment. I thought it would be easier. What did you say? I said I thought it would be easier. What would be? To be with you. Procure you. I told you, you're mistaken. I can't keep up. It's ruined. Much longer. I came here. I found out who you were, where you lived. I came here in the middle of the night. I wanted to know what it would be like. I brought money. What more can I do? I... I... I like... Lauren Hutton looking very, very sincere. Mm -hmm. At first, the attraction is primarily physical, but then the unexpected happens. Hutton and Gear fall in love with one another, and at the same time, Gear finds himself framed for a kinky murder out in Palm Springs. He's tracked down by an inquisitive Detective Sunday of the L.A. Vice Squad. How do you do it, Julian? This afternoon with Mrs. Jarvie, and tonight at the country club. How do you seduce all these women? I don't like you poking around my private life Sunday. Bugging my friends. I'll tell you what. <clears throat> you lay off my clients, I'll give you a few pointers picking up women, okay? How's that? First, obviously, you dress lousy. Anybody can fix that, no problem. It's your face. Hey, face, bad face. <laughs> and your body. What's wrong with your body? You have bad problems? You look like a monkey sitting there. Hey, uh, back, shoulders, back, back. Work the jaw. Work the jaw. Exercise. You don't want it slack. Up tight. 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 Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Would you be willing to come in for a lineup? Sure, why not? Doesn't it ever bother you, Julian? What? What you do. Giving pleasure to women. I'm supposed to feel guilty about that. But it's not legal. Legal is not always right. Men make laws. Sometimes they're wrong. They're stupid. Or jealous. Hector Elizondo gives an effective performance there as the surprisingly clever and menacing Detective Sunday. You can almost feel his envy there. 
Here's this guy who represents everything that he detests, but the guy is handsome, well-dressed, and rich. It's a lovely scene. But it's Richard Gere who makes American Gigolo an interesting movie. It's the portrait of a character who's bizarre, fascinating, offbeat, lonely, maybe just a little dumb. It's a strong picture, I agree with you. And you know, Roger, you and I are alone, I think, as critics I know. across the country in liking this picture. Mm -hmm. Everybody else seems to be knocking it. I don't understand why. The film was made by taxi driver, uh, writer, Paul Schrader, and he has this fascination for these low-life, kind of marginal characters who creep along and work during the <laughs> night, you know, don't have regular jobs, have mm -hmm. feelings of self-doubt. and uh, I find those people fascinating, much more interesting than, let's say, the cardboard characters we just saw in Chapter 2. So I can't understand why people are knocking this picture. I'm in agreement with you here. I like Schrader's other pictures, too, Blue Collar and Hardcore. He seems yep. to have two basic subjects, violence and loneliness, especially in an urban setting. And, but he doesn't simply exploit that sort of thing. It would be so easy to do. There's always an idea in a Schrader film. You always get the sense of the director's intelligence there, commenting on what place. He is almost asking in each movie, what place is there in society for this character? And the character is asking that, too. Sometimes there isn't much of an answer. It's very interesting. I think it's a very interesting movie. It's R-rated. It's a little raunchy. But I think because, as you point out, there's an idea there, it makes mm -hmm. the film worthwhile. Two big yes votes for Paul Schrader's American Gigolo starring Richard Gere in a compelling performance as a male prostitute who's framed for murder.